Fear the Great. I've only heard of it, but I didn't think it was real. A system to destroy the world by absorbing malice and giving it a physical form. That is the program known as Fear the Great. System? Pro? To simplify it even more for you, idiot, it means that the world is going to be destroyed by the malice of the stupid humans. But why does this have to happen now? Is this the work of the aliens too? No, the activation of Fear the Great can only be done by an order from God. God? Isn't God supposed to help us? God isn't here to save humans. God is not like demons and angels. He presides over the entire universe. He isn't on anyone's side. <laughs> it's his job to pretend to have almighty power and keep order in the universe. The extinction of human beings, when compared to the vastness of the universe, probably isn't that big of a deal to him. However, there must be some reason Fear the Great was activated. Why has God decided to destroy the humans? Is it because Fen Fen didn't say his prayers seriously? Well, according to what I've read, Fear the Great is activated when the amount of malice on a planet exceeds a certain level. It has been activated seven times in the past, and the targeted planets and their residents have all been completely wiped out. Every planet in the universe is said to be equipped with this program. Getting killed by your own malice. What an ironic system. So, was Nemo the trigger that activated Fear the Great? Most likely, yes. Fear the Great possesses the person with the most malice and continues to grow by feeding on malice all around the world. We have to do something before it's too late. But what are we supposed to do? The human world is full of malice. It might already be too late. Hmm. Crying about it isn't going to turn things around. Isn't there a way to stop Fear the Great? Unfortunately, not that I know of. It can't be helped. No one has ever successfully stopped Fear the Great in the past. Then it's up to us to change history with our own hands. If you're that determined, then I'll go ahead and open the path to Fear the Great. Only we, the ones with the power of light, can do that. Thanks. God, watch us now! We'll stop this arrogant system you've created and crush your ego! Is that even possible? Fighting a system that was created by God? What's the matter, Desko? Are you saying that you're afraid of God? Oh, no way! Desko will beat the crap out of God! What about you, Rascal? Will you follow the destiny that was laid out by God? I... I'm... I'm gonna go with you, of course! So what about God? I can't be a demon if I'm afraid of him! What do you say, lass? Do you even have to ask? If I save the world from this crisis, I'll definitely become the ruler of Earth! There's no reason for me to ignore this awesome opportunity! Fenric, are you...? Actually, never mind. Yes. All is for my lord. And shall we head out to rebel against God? Please, wait. Why didn't you ask me? Are you sure? You'll be going against God. You know that, right, Angel? Still, I want to come. I have responsibilities, too. Okay. Then do what you want. Mr. Vampire. You're not going to ask me any questions, are you? Aren't you curious to find out what happened between me and Nemo? I can wait till you're willing to talk about it. After all, that's what allies do for each other. Allies? So you accept me as an ally? I'm honored. The real final episode! 
ties deeper than darkness. What's up, people? I'm Luminaire. Of course, you knew that already, because if you've watched this much of my Let's Plays, um, you should know pretty well who I am by now. Of course, if this is the first of my Let's Plays you choose to watch, um, I question your ability to understand cr uh, chronology. Anyway, um, update on uh, my... Uh, okay, um, just on what's going on. Um, so, apparent. okay, as for the story, uh, apparently not enough energy. I don't call it all energy, it's energy. Energy and fear energy. Uh, no, no, there was enough. Uh, Flanzer X, you know, stop the moon, yay. Now, out of nowhere, Deus Ex Machina comes and affects Nemo? Sure, why not? One more chapter, what, what the hell, it's this guy, we'll let it slide. Um... Uh, PS3, not fixed. <laughs> uh, result, I'm shipping it to some uh, some group called Gopher Mods I found online. Um, their rate much better than Sony's. Uh, about seventy dollars to fix the um, yellow light minus shipping. Uh, I, I pro although I did most of the reflowing and reapply paste myself, but um, that's technically what they're um, sending in to get fixed, in addition to getting the Blu-ray ribbon uh, fix. So we'll see how that works. But also, at the same time, um, I discovered that they could upgrade hard drive space for the cheap. Uh, I mean, I have a 60 gigabyte uh, PlayStation 3, and I've actually had to delete uh, installed game data uh, on more than one occasion, like when I had to play... Uh, Arkham Asylum, I, I had to clear out space to be able to install that game. So, uh, 60 gigabytes isn't cutting it anymore after, what, four years? Had a good run. So, for, you know, they said you could upgrade to, like, a 100 gigabyte hard drive for, like, an extra $40. So, I'm like, wow, that's not bad. And then they said upgrade to 160 gigabytes for 10 bucks more. So, for an extra, what, 60? Dollars, I guess. I think it was actually sixty dollars for a hundred gigabytes more than I currently had, and I figured that's more than enough. I'll throw that in there too, in addition to getting my PS3 fixed and never being broken again. Fingers crossed. So I sent that in today. I should receive it in about. It's it's going to take about two days to get there, two days from the fix, and two days to ship back. So I should have it back by next week. Let's see how that goes. Uh, other than that, uh, last chapter of the Sky of Four, but I also bought a game today that, um, I'm going to Let's Play as well. Um, I, I wasn't planning on it, but, uh, having read reviews, that seemed encouraging, and I've been a fan of the, these kind of games for a while, um, I was eager to pick it up. If you can't tell by the clues... Uh, those, that's all the clues I'm giving, by the way. But, um... You will see an installment of it later tonight if you're watching this video. I will upload both at the same time. Why? Well, for one, I'm doing these commentaries post. So, um... And I'm going to be doing the other game commentary during. So, I'll be able to do both at the same time relatively easily. Not, not much of a problem at all. Uh... No, it will not... Uh, impact my let's play of uh, this guy for whatsoever. I'll still try to get I'll um, Barring uh, social inconveniences of my daily life That I've been getting in the way so far um, I will tr I will still try to get one if not two installments of this guy for a day in addition to the mystery game And for any Simpsons fans out there it's like you can have the lovely washer and dryer set or what's in this box the box. The box. Must see what the mystery game is. Luminaire, why don't you just tell us? Eh, you'll see it soon. Um, I'm a little disappointed. This will be the first Let's Game play game I'll be doing on the 360, and for whatever reason, 
uh, my TV won't display the component cables, which is what's required to, for my HD PVR to record. It won't display in 1080p. Um, it just won't show it. So rather than go in 1080i, which is actually a worse quality than 720p, this next play is only going to be in 720p. Uh, sorry if you are if you have the capability to watch in 1080 uh, like me. I'm a little disappointed, but uh, I you know I did a quick I did quick research. 720p is better than 1080i. If you don't know the reasons why, look it up. Progressive is far better than interlaced, which is what the P and I stand for. But I'm not going to give a whole lecture of the of that reasons. But uh, if you on the other hand, with the smaller resolution, all the video will uh, render quicker, so I could be probably be able to get more um, installments out faster. Who knows? Could be for the benefit. Ah, enough about that. Um, the, the game shouldn't take that long to complete. I should probably be able to finish it in one to two weeks. Long before Zelda comes out, and I'll probably sporadically upload Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer matches if I have any good ones, but I'm not a great player at that. I mean, I've been... Modern Warfare 2 is my first game, and I and only after months of playing did I finally get my kill-death ratio above 1. Then again, I, I played pretty much Team Deathmatch strictly. I bet if I played demolition and camped in the corner and let my kill streaks do the work, I could probably have a 6 to 1 kill death ratio as well. So, you know, I'm not terribly worried about that being the best indicator of who's good at that game, but... Excuse me. Damn, automated messages. Okay, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, yeah Modern Warfare 3. Um, so yeah, kill death ratio, not always the best um, indicator of a person's skill. Um, I'm, I'm just going to be uploading them for fun. You know, maybe, like, <laughs> I'm probably not going to have that many amazing games that are worthy of uploading, so, you know, maybe one a week, <laughs> if that. I'm still going to primarily be doing solo adventures like this, the mystery game, and uh, Zelda when that comes out in, what, two weeks, I think? Maybe three? Maybe three weeks. I'd look it up, but... My mesh screen go from the microphone. I used to have a mesh. I had a mesh screen that I, I guess I took down for some reason. Oh wait, here it is. Uh, if you're using a microphone, these screens are good for. Uh, there we go. It's behind it now. Uh, they block hard puffs of air like that, so that you don't have big spikes in bulk in your um, audio. You know, the voice actors use enough, so it's like hard peas that make big puff sounds. Uh, you don't want the air blowing into the microphone, so this tiny little mesh blocks the air from your mouth, and you just get the audio instead. Pretty handy. Pretty handy. Okay. Man, I'm changing my audio. Um, I'm just really going through my equipment a lot, aren't I? Alright, you know what? This is not entertaining at all, I'm noticing. Let's skip right. Uh, basically, um, I just do some shit in the Senate and, you know, learn some skills and all that. I'm gonna cut ahead to the story. Yeah. Sorry about this. Sorry for the wait, everyone. I've opened up a dimensional path to fear the great. Thank you, Lady Flan. I can't imagine what would happen if any of the other Archangels found out about this. I'm so sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. Huh? I don't know what exactly it takes to open up a path to a dimension, but Archangels seem to be wicked cool. How cool is that? Cooler than a final boss? I don't want to flatter but we are super cool! We're so cool! Final bosses can't even compare! <laughs> really? I don't know if I agree with that. Oh, huh. it looks like Celestia is running low on intelligent officers as well as on funds. Good 
judges of character. They're even better than the Seraphs. I think. I'm the one who discovered Artina, you know. <laughs> Seriously? Then can you scout me too when I die? I so don't want to go to Hades. Someone who's scheming to take over the world could never be an angel. How do you know? If this lady can be an archangel, I'm pretty sure I can too. You can't have my position! I'll never recruit you! What? Why not? You suck! That's it! I'm determined to stop you! You're banned from Celestia forever! Please. Please stop, Lady Archangel! Your dignity as an Archangel! Oops! Oh, you're right. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, everyone, please take care of my Artina. Make sure she returns safely. Don't worry about that. You can count on me. Thank you. It's, it's only natural to protect an ally. There's no need to thank me. Right. Hmm. Valvatora's knows that the Thief Angel is officially Artina now, but his attitude towards her hasn't changed a bit. He's actually acting more indifferent. You have no idea, do you? He's totally holding himself back. You can tell he can't stop thinking about her. He's just trying to cover it up, huh? Desko's excitement is now stimulating her libido. Shut up, you lascivious females. My lord couldn't possibly be thinking about women before the final battle. Oh, yeah? Isn't it about time for you to grow apart from your master, huh? I'll kill you. Desko will protect Big Sis. There's no point in saying that from behind my back. <sighs> Could you guys please start acting serious already? <laughs> I'm not sure if I should feel reassured by their light-hearted attitude or not. <laughs> We're raising a rebellion against God. Mm. We should feel completely confident. Everyone, let's go beat up the almighty God. Tyrant Valvatoris' rebellion, which started in Hades, the prison of the netherworld, has grown to become a rebellion against a system created by God. There were no hints of despair or hopelessness in the faces of those headed into battle. The only things that were apparent were that their hearts believed in the future and they were determined to carve out their own paths with the strength of their own powers. Sounds like someone moaning. This place is creepy. You are a demon, aren't you? That's... It must be the voices of human hatred. Fear the Great is really gathering a lot of human malice. We just had to defeat all that malice, so Fear the Great will lose his power source. Yeah, but how do we fight something that's not actually here? I won't forgive you. Whoa! Who are these guys? They don't look normal. These are the physical forms of malice. These physical manifestations of malice are wandering around, looking for targets to take all of their anger out on. The product of fools. It's enough to make me laugh. Some of them seem familiar. Indeed, but their images are too accurate to have been created by the current humans from Earth. Yes, all of them were created by one human. The human that we know all too well. The human who possesses the most malice. 
Are you doing this, lass? Are you out of your mind? My lord, please listen to them. You should be able to hear his voice. Destroy. Destroy. Humans. Everything. Everything. And everyone who took everything away from me that one day. And who have forsaken me. Is this... Nemo? Judge Nemo? But what is he talking about? Producing this much malice by himself. He must be holding on to a tremendous amount of hatred. So much, in fact, that God has forsaken him. What could have caused him to be this way? Well, not that I care. Everyone, we must defeat these bodies of malice, destroy his personal hatred, and return them to Ash! There we go. Much better. Shit's happening now. Oh, look at this. They're all... dark. Ooh, they're evil. The malice slumber cat. The only difference is, uh color change really um and you know what's weird every time they attack you they sound like Nemo Ugh. um this this map isn't that hard all right so I think it's about time we started going over the extra characters there's no point in delaying it you know who they are I put them in a lot of my um, weapon exhibition skill Brace videos, yourself. character skills anyway. So let's just get this shit out of the way. And the first character that you unlock after the story would be Axel, or Akatare in the Japanese version. And he's a much better character in the Japanese version, only because of his voice. Why? I don't remember the voice actor's name, but he was Link in Ocarina of Time. Sia! That guy. Uh, he's also been uh, Viral in Gurren Lagann. And uh, he's like a Joe in King of Fighters. He, he's a bunch of cool guys. I think he's really awesome. He's a very uh, enthusiastic voice actor. Alright, uh, let's get into Axel. Axel is a mixed bag when it comes to stats and abilities. For a story character, he actually has somewhat tepid attack stats. He's based on a melee fist user design, but only his speed really excels. Because his abilities are non-offensive in nature, this makes it doubly hard for Axel to bring down foes well and fill his own niche. Though tankier than you might expect, Axel's reliance on reduced damage, as opposed to hit avoidance, makes it hard to get the most survival possible. In the late game, when survivability is a bigger issue, Axel still cannot take the hits. Only those with speed and dodge-oriented abilities are truly cut out for that. Here I go. Thus, Axel is now is more of a flavor character. He's fun and he looks stylish, but on the other, but the other story characters and many of the generic classes can trump him on raw battle potential. Ah, uh, here you go. God is Artemis. Now she's showing us what women can really do. Bye. All right. Uh, Axel is locked after beating Event One in the post game. To unlock it, you just yeah, just be in the post game, and you need a certain amount of mana. I think it was ten thousand, maybe. And then you can pass the bill in the Senate, and then you can fight him. Uh, let's see. He's proficient with fists and swords, although he actually learns all the fist skills. He's primarily a fist user. Movement range is 5, throwing range is 4, 25% weak to fire, and 25% resistant to wind and ice. Uh, here are his aptitudes. HP 120, SP 110, Attack 120, Defense 110, Intelligence 110, Resistance 120, Hit 110, and Speed 130. Um, overall above average in almost every category, but he's offensively lacking as we've gone over. 
I, I think Fenric is a much better fist user. Especially since what we'll probably be using with Valvatores all the time. Also, uh, here's his uh, main ability, Star Aura. Damage taken from human-type units is reduced by 50%. Damn, that makes him good as a boss character this to fight, but not always so much as a um, human character to use. And his other abilities are weird. Uh, Entertainment Life nullifies damage from non-elemental special attacks when Axel's health is under 25%. That is so many conditions need to be met for damage um, nullification, it's like, why bother? And then finally, Image Change. Switches values for HP, SP, and attack and intelligence. Thanks. I don't see ever use it. Just use a mage character if you want magic. I mean, God. And for whatever reason, he actually lear learns a lot of debilitative status effects like poison, slumber, stun, blank out, and charm. Okay. I don't think he's that charming at all, but what are you going to do? As for his uh, special skills, we have Celebrity Tackle, and all of his attacks are based on attack and speed, like the fist, which is why you want to give him the fist. But anyway, Celebrity Tackle, power is E, it's a point blank attack. As a first tier attack, Celebrity Tackle does decent damage. It's an attack that mirrors some of the fist weapon skills, so this doesn't add as much to our actual users that are going to fist weapons anyway. I think it knocks the opponent back as well, which, you know, gets annoying. Uh, next one is Aching Heart, a pretty entertaining attack to watch. Um, its range is four tiles, so at least it's got range. It hits a single target. Aching Heart is a much better attack skill for Axel because it gives him the range versatility that he badly needs. Having a four tile range makes it much easier for him to support more powerful melee attacks without thrusting himself into the thick of things. And then finally, Love Dynamite S. Uh, it's a 3x3 attack, like Big Bang. Uh, the power is C. So, is it... I think it's a bit stronger than Big Bang. Is it? What's the power for Big Bang? Uh, can't remember offhand. Here we go. Big Bang, power is D. Okay. And, okay, so it's half the SP boss, and the power C is supposed to be, so... Um, you know, that's very handy to have, and I think it looks cool, but it can't be upgraded to Mega Big Bang through Mega uh, Big Magic Change, so you can't level up with it in Mount Ordeals 4. Uh, Love Dynamite S goes back to the fist style of attacks, but its high damage earns it the nod regardless of your weapon choice. Upgraded by a few ranks, it can act as a perfect tool for fast leveling or for clearing clusters of enemies. And that's Axel. Uh, all in all, uh, does not have the best abilities to do good damage. Uh, decent enough uh, character skills. Uh, and he'll serve you well enough if you really want to use him. I mean, if you're a diehard Axel fan, of course, you'd have to be playing in Japanese for that to be the case. You know, go ahead. Why not? If you're at this point in the game, you can make anybody good, really. But, uh, will not be the best, and I personally don't care for him. Uh, the, the battle against him is pretty entertaining. Uh, it'll, it'll be the first video you see after I'm finally done with the story. And that should be like in what? Four more, four or five more videos, I want to say? Meanwhile, how are we doing on this? If you didn't notice, the bye-bye panels, anyone that's standing on that at the end of the turn will just explode. You're all gonna die! Ugh, that sounds horrible. You're all gonna die! Thanks, I'm gonna go. Yep, there we go. And yes, the explosions cause damage. And if you are pretty standing next to him, you would explode as well. combos are fun. I actually killed one of my characters during that, though. Bonus rank 9! Max! But there's only a single... No, two more characters left to kill with 
so it won't be that tough. These fights are going by much faster, aren't they? In fact, I think there are only two character specials that we haven't seen. Um, both Desco's and Amizel's last special skill. Delta of Death and Yog Sothoth. 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 Log Sothoth. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I do not like listening to that. Yep, I... Totally unnecessary, but I feel like Marshall transforming his ass. <laughs> Just knocking it forward a little bit. And then the Coupe de Gracie. Coup de Gracie. Woo! Let's go attack! Ee-hoo-hoo-hee-gong-ork! attack. If you're gonna go out, go out in style, I say. Alright, thanks for watching. See you in my other Let's Play very shortly. Huh? So can we defeat Malice? Nothing is impossible for Big Sis. Let's keep this up and defeat them all! All of them? How much more of it is out there? Oh, I don't see an end to this. <sighs> <sighs> that voice. <sighs> what is this? The voices are in my head. The emotions are flowing in. These feelings. It, it hurts. So much pain. So much struggle. The sadness. The despair is taking over! However, the strongest of all is... anger. Or is it hate? There's no forgiveness. I'll destroy everything! Father, mother, everyone I love, and Miss Artina. I won't forgive them. Those who took everyone away from me, and those who didn't do anything to protect them. Humans, demons, and angels. I'll destroy everything! Is it over? For now, at least. That was scary. Desko thought she was gonna go crazy. Ugh. Ugh. I feel so dizzy. Anyway, why don't you explain now? You know what's going on, don't you? Those words of hatred. What's his motive? Revenge? It sounded like the deaths of you and his family had something to do with it. Hey, you don't have to be like that. You're making it sound like this is Artina's fault. That's true. Miss Artina is a good person. She's so good, she was killed by her countrymen for treating their enemies. And the world is about to be destroyed because of her hypocritical actions. It's only natural she's to blame for this. You're right. I know I'm partially responsible for this. Huh? But isn't that weird? Hasn't it been a while since Balbatora stopped drinking blood and lost his powers? About 400 years, I think. Then Artina must have died about 400 years ago, too. There's no way Nemo could have met Artina. Actually, I have met Nemo, and he has survived for 400 years to punish the humans for their sins. 400 years? Humans can't live that long! Yeah! His soul should have been hunted down by death a long time ago! No, he evaded death and survived all these years, even after his body had crumbled to dust. So, is he a ghost? That's correct. He only exists by the will of his soul. A ghost, huh? No wonder he was able to appear in Hades and then on the moon. 
A vengeful heart that remains, even after losing his body. He must possess so much hatred. Is it because of what Fenric said? We don't have much time. Fear the Great will keep growing through absorbing malice while we stand here. You'll have to tell us the story of Judge Nemo's birth as we keep moving ahead. 